The Queen Was in the Parlour is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1932. This is directed by Rudolf Ising and voices are provided by Ken Darby, The Kingsman and Johnny Murray. And I have to say, I didn't really like this one very much and I was really looking forward to it based purely on the title because I love um, the, the nursery rhyme. Sing a song of sixpence, and we do have some really good music in this, and the animation is really stunning. But the narrative just felt all over the place like they didn't really know what kind of story they wanted to tell, other than having a narrative set in a castle. But I will say the animation is beautiful, but I kind of lost interest once it started to jump around all over the place. Long story short, the queen is in the parlour and she won't see anybody, so the king sees the jester and various other characters and we have some fighting going on and it's very chaotic. Now, I don't mind chaotic animations as a rule. That's absolutely not something I I have a, a problem with, but I feel like there needed to be something a little bit more logical to tie everything together and I just personally didn't find it very engaging at all. It is a Goopy Gear cartoon. We do have Goopy Gear as the jester. And again, the animation of the character is really good. The jester's role in this was interesting enough, but I think he should have had a more prominent role and been brought into it a little bit earlier. Uh, and I think it, it might have worked a little bit better if they'd just shifted focus. So do I recommend it? I guess I do. Because visually it is really stunning, the music is really good, the design of the king is, well, not what I was expecting, let's put it that way, but certainly very interesting. And if you like Goopy Gear cartoons, that's certainly going to appeal as well. But if you're looking for a really good narrative, then The Queen Was In The Parlour is maybe not the best one to go with. I didn't hate it, it wasn't as good as what I hoped, but if you like Warner Brothers cartoons, then maybe it's worth checking out.